Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In this video here, we're going to use YOLO V8 to create a project. This series here with Autolytics, where we went over how we can use um, YOLO V8 for object detection, tracking, segmentation, post estimation, and all those different things. Definitely check this videos out. In this video here, we're going to create a project around the YOLO V8 model with a security system. So we're basically just going to have a webcam, and then we're going to detect if there's a person in the room. If we detect a person, we will then throw an email notification to an email. And then we can actually create this security system uh, that can tell us different kind of like statistics. It could either be like how many persons are detected in the room, how long have they been in the room and so on. So let's just jump straight into it and create this project around the YOLO V8. So first of all here, we just import the different modules that we need. PyTorch, NumPy, OpenCV and Ultralytics here with the YOLO, YOLO model. So we can create an instance of this YOLO class and it will basically just download the model to your computer and we can run inference directly with Ultralytics. So we can basically just specify an arbitrary email here that we want to send an alert to and then from and also the password here will be for your personal email. So I want to go in and show you these but it is basically just like variables that are implement or like that are import from the email settings. So you can just change those in the email settings.py. So now we're going to set up our email. We're going to create a server to start with. We're just going to use Gmail as a set and this is just how we can set that up. Then we can actually like start the server here and log into the server as well. So we need to specify the email that we want to send emails from and also the password so we can log in. If you go into Google and if you have like two-factor identification, you can actually like go in and create a new password for the app. You just need to go inside your Gmail settings with security and then you can go in and extract a single password. Then we're going to have this function called send email. We specify who we want to send the email to where we're going to send the email from and also the number of people detected. If we just detect a single single one, we're basically just going to give an alert that we have detected a single person in the frame. But we can also specify this parameter here if we have multiple persons detected in the frame. So you can basically do a lot of types of analytics and also statistics on the detections that you're getting from your live feed. And then you can basically just throw that information into this function and send all of that in your alert email. Then we're going to set up our MIME multipart here for the message. We're going to specify from, to, and also the subject of the email. And then we can create the body. So the body here will basically just be an alert. And then the number of people that were detected in the frame. Um, and then we're just going to specify plain. And we can then connect to the server, send the email with our function. So we can just have our from email to email. And then we just convert or map our message here as a string. And this will basically do everything for us. So now let's go down and use the object detection class that we implemented in one of the previous videos. So this is basically just how we can extract the results from the detections that we get. So I won't go into details with this class here. So definitely go check the previous videos out if you're interested in going over like line by line and how we can implement this class and also extract the results. But basically here, first of all, we just set the capture index. So we're going to have a live webcam running. We're going to use CUDA here if it's available or else we're just going to use the CPU. We're going to load in the model, so just a YOLO V8 model. You can choose an arbitrary one. We get the class names here and also our box annotator for supervision. So this is basically just for visualizing the results as well, together with outputting it into a mail. We have a load model function. We just have this YOLO class that we can create an instance of. We specify the model that we want to use. Let's go with the media model in this example here, future model, and also return it. Then we can do a prediction. We do a four pass of our frame to our model. We get the results. Then we can return that down in the plot box function here. This is basically where we're going to do all the magic so we can extract all the results. So the X, Y's, X, Y's. So the coordinates of our bounding boxes, the confidence score of our detections and also the class IDs. So in this example here, we're interested in class ID zero from the Coco data set because that is a person. We're going to have a for loop running through all the detections and all the results that we get back from our predictions. We have our class ID here. We check if the class ID is equal to zero. If it's equal to zero, we're just going to extract all the results from this results uh, generator that it returns. And then we act like just extract all the results that we can use later on. Then we're going to have our detections here. We're basically just going to sh visualize them with supervision from um, RoboFlow. So here, SV detections from Ultralytics, and they will basically just format it and display and annotate our frame. We specify the scene that we want to annotate and also the detections. Then we're going to return our frame and our class IDs. Then we can go in and do statistics on the length of our class IDs. So how many persons are present in the frame. You can also like calculate the time they're present in the frame and so on. You can even apply object trackers on it. Then we have a call method. We open up a video capture. We can specify the width and, and the height of our frame. We have our frame counter here, and then we're just going to have our standard while loop. So while true, as long as we don't hit Q on a keyboard and terminate our program, it will just keep on loading in 
frames from our camera. We load in a, a frame here from a camera. We do a forward pass. We call the predict method. We get the results. We plot our bounding boxes here on a frame and we also return the class IDs. So here we're going to have some logic controlling our emails because like if we haven't sent an email, we're going to send an email, but we don't want to just like spam out emails like every single time a person is detected, we actually like want to wait after that. So let's say that we're basically just doing predictions all the time on each individual frame. Then we will basically just like spam ourselves with, uh, with emails if we don't have this logic here that can wrap around. So yeah, here we're just going to set e email send equal to true. So we want acts like go in and send email after that. And then we can go down into the else. So if we don't have a person present in the frame, then we're going to send email to false. So that means that we actually like need the people to walk out of the frame or like be out of the frame before we can send an email again. You can do a lot of modifications, a lot of changes and so on. Definitely throw it down in the comment section if you have some nice ideas, try to implement it yourself and just like keep expanding this security system. So yeah, after we've sent the email, I basically just have a timer here so we can time the number of frames per second that we get. Then we're going to put text with the number of frames per second and also im show with OpenCV, the frame that we have annotated the detections on. If we had a QR on a keyboard, we will terminate the program. We release our webcam to store all the windows that were opened up with OpenCV. And we will also quit the server that we have set up with our email. So now we can just go down and create an instance of our object detection class. We specify the capture index equal to zero. And then we can just call this detector function. So we actually have our call method. So once we call our instance of our class, it will basically just run our security system on a webcam. So now we're going to run our program. I'll create a new terminal here so we can just run the program. Command prompt. We're going to use Anaconda. Then we can have our Python security system. We're going to run the program. I'm going to grab the webcam. So this is the webcam that we're going to use for security system. So I actually think I got an email there. I think it detected my hand. So yeah, we should get an email here notification here as we see. So there we go. So here you can see that I'm actually like getting these alerts on my emails. I got three emails here because we actually like missed some detection. Um, so yeah, let's turn around and see live when we actually like get a detection. So let's just clear these um, notifications. So I'm going to clear. Let's hold it up here and then I'm going to turn the webcam around and do a detection. So now we're detecting me. There we go. And we should get an email notification. There we go. One person has been detected. So that's it for this video here, guys. I hope you enjoyed creating a project here with YOLV8 and Ultralytics. It is always like cool to create these small projects that you can always like keep building on top of and just create an even uh, cooler system. So definitely stay tuned for the next video, guys. I hope to see you in that one. Bye for now.